Hi, this is Kyle Piercy with UIndyAthletics.com. So you're down with Jason Reed, coach of the women's volleyball team here at UIndy. Uh, coach, we got to start out with the most important topic, the beard. I know, I know it was No Shave November, but it's clearly December now. Talk a little bit about why you're keeping the beard. Uh, well, the beard, I guess, uh, went from, from No Shave November to now it's a playoff beard. Um, I guess maybe it's just a representation of, of kind of what the team is doing. You know, it's still growing. Uh, I think it can still get better, um, but it's really done a good job, and it's been pretty consistent. So we're going to try and move forward with the beard. Yeah, some of us at you into here are trying to keep up. Uh, mine's a little bit red. You know, I'm just trying to show that crimson. Um, and, and talk a little bit about kind of segueing right into the streak. Haven't lost since October 26th. Haven't even gone five since November 9th. I mean, 10 game, 10 match winning streak, I should say. What's been the key for the for the Greyhounds? Well, I, you know, to all kidding aside, I think the consistency has been uh, a big issue. I think that we're we're playing really good volleyball right now. Um, we've been aggressive. We've kind of limited our errors in terms of you know the serve receive game. We're serving real tough and getting our opponents out of system. And I think that we're playing really good defense uh, when we're in system. Uh, I think our speed is really just tough to defend. So. Um, we're doing a nice job of just kind of controlling what we can control and hopefully we uh, do the same moving forward this weekend. Now break something down for me. You say, you talk a lot about serving tough and serving the other team out of their system. Explain a little bit more about what that means. So we talk about that, you know, on any given uh, pass, uh, any offense wants to have two or three hitters depending upon uh, where their setter is in the front row or the back row. And our goal isn't necessarily to, to ace somebody. You know, there's some of these servers, and some we'll see this weekend, that can really, they can bomb it. They can hit it real hard. Um, ours is a little more strategic where we're trying to take out one option. You know, we're trying to take out maybe two options. And when you do that, that's considered out of system. When we take a team out of system, they become a little more predictable. And so that's kind of the game plan. Um, and not just for us. I think that's any team's game plan. We've just been doing it really well. Now, coming off the GLVC championship, the fourth in program history, does the game plan change much heading into the NCAA tournament? No, not really. I, you know, the, the teams, pretty much every team we face is going to be bigger than us and more physical. And so uh, the game plan moving forward is going to be the same. We want to make sure we limit our errors. Hopefully we pass well. Hopefully we serve tough and then uh, play good defense. And that's been the staple, uh, especially this last month. That's going to be the staple moving forward for our success. Played a lot of regional matches. Haven't seen Northwood yet this year. Um, I'm sure you've watched plenty of tape. What, you know, what do you think about the, their squad? They're good. Uh, and, you know, everyone from here on is good. Um, they've got one heck of a, an outside hitter um, who's an All-American last year who we think is going to get a lot of balls. Uh, we want to try and slow her down a little bit. Uh, the rest of their team does a really nice job. They're balanced. They serve it well. They pass it well. And it's going to be a great matchup. They're, they're a good team. And, and uh, I think that if we can keep them out of system like we've done uh, with the rest of our opponents this last month, uh, I like our chances. But it's going to be a good one. What do you think about the rest of the field, the other six teams involved? You know, same thing. I, I think that all the teams involved, uh, both in the GLVC and the GLEAC, are, are tough. And at every, any given time, um, any of the teams, any of the eight teams that are here can win it, I think. Um, depends on, you know, these three days. It's just stringing together three consistent days, three aggressive days. Um, fatigue it ends up being a factor at the end of that third day. Um, and so it's great. I think there's going to be some good volleyball this weekend up at Grand Valley. Now we'll close with a, a, a pretty important question here. It's a playoff beard, right? So, I mean, it's, you're going to grow it until you lose. Now, have you thought about the prospect of winning out and then having a, a pretty – stellar beard for next September? Or, or is it going to be clean shaven at some point? I mean, at some point, I think we'll have to get rid of the beard. Um, but uh, I mean, if we got to go Duck Dynasty on everybody and just let that thing go, then then we'll have to do it. It's, we, you don't don't break, uh, don't break fix it if it's not broken. We're just going to keep letting it go. It's all about commitment here at UND. Thank you, Coach, for your time. Thank you. As always, follow along, UNDAthletics.com, at UNDAthletics on Twitter for all the updates from this tournament.